getting started. I'm asked this all the time. So how do I just get started with my networking? And I say, well, reach out, start with your friends, start with people that you know. Tell people about what you're hoping to do, what kind of job you want to get or, or who you're trying to interact with. You know, this will help you get clear and concise as to where you want to go or the people that you want to meet. And by starting with your friends and people who aren't going to judge you, there's really no risk. They, if they know someone, they'll help you. If they don't, they'll tell you as such. But a lot of times it's a matter of just getting out there and starting to talk to people because what you may find is that you're having a conversation with say a friend and you know you think well they work in this sector they don't know anybody. But it turns out their spouse or their best friend might be the perfect person or maybe a brother or sister. I can't tell you how many times I've been at just social gatherings and I start talking to people and I tell them I do sustainability consulting. And you know they say well I work in IT or I work in rebuilding or I work in nursing or whatever it is. And you know, my initial thought is, well, I don't know if there's ever gonna be a client opportunity here. But the more I start talking to them about what they do and what their spouses do and they ask me, then they start going, oh, you know, my best friend just mentioned to me that they needed help with something like that. And you've developed a relationship by doing that. So a lot of times it's just getting started. Now there's the in-person having conversations, but then there's your online, you know, posting on Facebook and Twitter and your LinkedIn. You know, if you're, you know, who are you trying to interact with? If they're, you know, put it out there and a lot of times people respond to you. If you're trying to figure out how do I find out who are the people that I need to talk to in an industry or a company that you're looking for, that's one way that you can use your network to get going. So start by, you know, going on a Twitter and highlighting the hashtags about the industries or the companies or the ideas that you're interested in. Start following what the conversation's about and start recognizing who are the people that are experts in the area. By posting and starting to connect with them and just following them, you're gonna be able to do that. When you're at an event, there's things like the Banjo app that you can download that you know will let you know who's in the room based on your LinkedIn, your Twitter, and your Instagram accounts. That's a way if you're going to an event and you're wondering, are there anybody people that I know? Are the contacts that I'm trying to reach out to in the industries of the companies, are they there? By using apps like Banjo, you can find out if people are in the room. And most importantly, if you're networking for professional purposes, LinkedIn, this is key because you know, oftentimes, you know, you're thinking, I got to know who the exact person is that I'm trying to get to go point A to B. But the reality is, sometimes you're more than one or two connection points away from getting to that person you need to. And so using a service like LinkedIn, where you mine your networks, and you find out who do I know within that, and they might know somebody. And by making a positive connection, you can get there as opposed to always looking from A to B. These are skills that can just help you get started as you're trying to network better, not only personally, but professionally. You know, there's no point in going to a networking event and getting a whole bunch of business cards and having a bunch of conversations if you're not gonna follow up because you're not gonna be able to reap the rewards from your efforts. So what I tell people is that the follow-up is just as important as the connection. If you make the connection, but you never follow up, you know, it may, you may go years before you even have a connection. You might miss out on potential jobs or contracts or ways you could have worked together. So when you're having yourself at an event and you're just trying to figure out, okay, what do I do? I'm starting to collect a whole bunch of business cards. About every four or five people, go find a quiet spot for just a minute. Pull out a pen, write some things on the back of the card. You know, write down those things that you want to follow up on, whether it's professionally or if there's something in common. You know, what are the connecting points that you're going to want to have in the future? That is a key skill to take. And it makes it so much easier to follow up with people, whether they care about sports or you know, art or craft or the weather, whatever it is, write down what's of interest and what they cared about because you can follow up with them. And if there is something professionally you want, that you wanna follow up with, you wanna nail that so that when you do follow up, you can follow up on that specific item. By writing down those key points, it'll enable you to follow up. And not only just once or twice or three times, but it'll enable you to have a relationship with a long term, which is really the key to developing a good, strong professional network.